we're going to give this uh, old forest another shot. Welcome back to Twitch and YouTube. We're, uh, we're ready to rock and roll here. So we're going to give this one another go. We're going to draw our opening hand here. Draw, no, I can't discard any if I don't have any. We're going to draw five because that's what we get. Or it's a Gandalf's delay out there. I did it again to discard my hand. I need to shuffle my deck first, so my bad. It probably make some adjustments to my deck. I don't know if I'd ever really use Peace and Thought. Doesn't seem like something that I would need to use all that often. Theoretically, I should get plenty of hard draw but we'll see all right so here we go here's my opening hand <sighs> it's got my resource generators in it that's a good thing i like that peace and thought though I could probably do it early. All right, we're in this. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll see how it goes. One, two, three, four. With the old bogey stories on me, I need to get Mr. Underhill real quick. There's Gandalf's delay. Yep, he's up there. And I need Mr. Underhill. Here we go. Okay. So I know the enemies in the old forest quest here are a pain in the ass. So, all right, here we go. After being pursued through the Shire by mysterious riders in black, Frodo and his friends decide that the safest way for them to continue their journey to Rivendell is to travel through the old forest. Set old Manuela and, and Withy Whittle aside at, out of play. Each player searches the encounter deck and adds one different location to the staging area and shuffle the encounter deck. All right, so we got the misleading path, which he's fine, but I know I need victory points. So we're going to take a deep gully. Deep gully is going to be the one we take. These go into the shuffle into the encounter deck. We will flip this. It says, you've you left the Shire and are now outside on the edge of the old forest. Uh, when revealed, each player draws a card, and then we advance to a random stage 2A. So we'll draw a card. Woohoo! Fantastic. Rose intuition. And we advance to a random 2A. All right, random 2A. There's four of them, so we will RNG. RNG for number three. Number three. One. Two, three. Okay, this goes to there. These go here. All right, so stage two A. Everything, everything in it is very much more alive, more aware of what is going on, so to speak, than things are in the Shire, and the trees do not like strangers. When revealed, if the number of locations in the staging area is less than the number of players in the game, search the encounter deck and discard power for a location added to the staging area. Shuffle the deck. All right, so I can shuffle the encounter deck. I, we are equal to the number of players in the game, so we're good. And that will be our turn one. Our turn one will be... I will play one from Mary, but resourceful out. I will put resourceful on Mary. Because it's a secret C3, so it only costs me one. It allows him to generate an extra resource every turn. And we're facing two threat. Don't know what's coming off the deck. 
My quest with these two, I would be at five. Would need to get hit with something big to not matter. Peace and Thoughts, perfect card for right now. So I am going to exhaust Frodo and Mary, and I will play, pay the one, and I will put play Peace and Thought. One, two, three, four, five. It's funny, as I was just talking crap about Peace and Thought, thinking that I may not need it, drawing it in this quest on the very opening hand, I think is actually a boon for me. We'll see, though, because my draw wasn't very good. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I have some cards. I've already got a duplicate in my hand, which is awesome. We like that. <sighs> I still am really struggling to find my uh, my resource smoothing stuff, my songs. I need them. I need them to really boost to boost my characters here. Otherwise, we're dead in the water. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to spend anything else. I can put the Woodman's Clearing out there, so we'll do that. Attach him to here. Everything else costs resources that I don't want to spend right now. All right, so we're going to commit to the quest. We're facing two in the staging area. I will put to two, five. Okay. Five. Five versus two. One card to come. Three, two, one. Let's take it in the face. Three, two, one, go. The Song of Sleep. Remove a questing hero you control from the quest. And attach Song of Sleep to that hero. It counts as a condition attachment with a text limit one per hero. Treat the attached hero's printed text box as if it were blank, except for traits. And this hero cannot ready. Wow. I don't have any way to get rid of that, so it would be just gone for the day. Yeah, we're going to not do that. I'm going to flip it, exhaust the one ring, and we're going to do something else. <laughs> that was horrible. So I could, I have to shuffle back in. One ring, uh, spend a resource and exhaust the one ring to cancel the effects of encounter card just revealed from the encounter deck. Shuffle that card back into the encounter deck and reveal another card. So in there, get back in there, shuffle. All right, shuffle one, shuffle two. Draw any one. Three, two, one. Go. We've got an oppressive forest. Well, oppressive forest is in the staging area. Each player cannot play more than one card each round. Okay. All right, so we won that uh, by one. Doesn't matter because we only can get one. I forgot to flip this here. At the end of the round, a discard a random location from the victory display. If don't have any. Uh, after placing progress as we're requesting successfully, there are more victory points on location of victory display. You go to so I need five victory points in a victory display. Cool, okay. So we won, we will. Uh, I will put the oppressive forest as the active location. And that is it, man. That's going to do it for the turn because we don't have anything else going on. We are ready to refresh. And we are for the next round. I don't know why it did it that way. He should have two. He should have one. He should have two and he should have one. All right, there we go. And then we drew a Hobbit Sense. Play only of each year. Here's a Hobbit. Yeah, yeah that, those are good. Okay. So here we go. All right, we're going to pay two from Sam's to make Mary the steward of Gondor somehow. Got a line to the throne. And we'll exhaust that right away to give us two more resources. Okay. So with that, we're going to fast hitch some folks up. I'll fast hitch Sam. 
Oh, fast hitch. Mary? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're facing two still. We don't know what's coming off the deck. X or more total victory points on locations in the victory display. That, that's a key key there. Okay. Okay. So we're not much different spot than we were. The only good part is we can really quest hard right now. So we are going to quest for three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to win by five. To get rid of that that'll get us two all right eight nine i will ready mary so that i can use his ability if i need to here comes our one card off the deck three two one boom it's a strange woods which is probably the worst threat card we could have drawn because it's a uh, three so it gives us the aging area five threat, which means we only win by four. <sighs> Shit. Okay, well, we win by four. One, two, three. That hurts us. It slows us down a lot. All right. Is that the end of the round? Discard on location from Victor's Plate. There aren't any in there, so we're not going to worry about that. And we get a new, a new random stage two. RNG says the number is the second one. One. Two. This guy goes back into the pile. We don't need to go get a new location because we're still good there. So we will flip that. And this is at the end of the planning phase. There must exhaust a hero he controls in the dark, bad place. Okay, so we'll get to do that here shortly. All right, we are ready to refresh. We are ready for the next round. And Mary gets an additional resource. I will exhaust the steward to give two more resources there. What card did we draw? We drew another Athelian Lookout, which is fine. Okay, folks, here we go. Staging area is five. Frodo's intuition, but it means I gotta eat. This is secrecy too, so it doesn't help me. I could pay three to put them out though, and I think I will. Two, three. Put them out there. All right, he enters play, so I can look at the top card of the encounter deck. If it's an enemy, I can discard him. It is not an enemy, it isn't. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be using the One Ring, or do I have a Test of Will? I do, I might just use the One Ring. Yeah, that thing's terrible. God, is it bad. If I use Test of Will, though, it just goes away. We get nothing. Okay, so I'm probably going to Test of Will that thing. Okay, so... Tillion Lookout's out. Can't put the Northern Tracker out. Because I need to test a will. So we'll wait a turn. 
guess I could. Need to... I'm gonna. I just need a quest for six or seven. I need a quest for seven, and that'll that'll win me the quest. So I don't think I'm gonna play anything else. I don't see a reason to. Okay, so we're going to, we're, we're done there. So it says here I've got to exhaust a hero I control. All right, well, Frodo's going to take a nap. Committing to the quest, three, five, seven. Three, five, seven. We know nothing else is coming in off of the encounter deck as we've seen it. We'll grab it. Here it comes. It is a peril. It's a when revealed, that's gonna go away. We will pay one from Mary. And I will test a will that. Test a will says I can cancel the when revealed effects of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck. So that son of a bitch is gonna go away because that card is terrible for us the good part is is it doesn't get replaced by anything it's just dead nothing so we win the quest by two two is enough to get rid of the oppressive forest so we'll put him into the victory display i will travel to the deep gully deep gully And that is going to be the end of that. So we will go to a new 2A RNG generator here. It says number one. So the card on the top. Woo! You. You go back in here. There's still location. So we're still even up there. And at the end of the round, remove all progress from each location in play. So that one sucks for the Northern Tracker. We are ready to refresh. And we are ready for the next round. I will exhaust the Steward of Gondor to generate two more resources. And Marion, because he's resourceful, gets an additional. All right, Gandalf is huge. He will help us a lot. Not right this second, but he will help us. Okay. So now I want to put another Athelian lookout out there. I think so. All right, so I'm gonna play another Athelian lookout. So one, two, three. He'll show up. Top part of the deck. The deep gully. So it's a two, five. And we need to win by four. So we need to quest for nine total. Here, we're not going to have any. The end of the round, remove all progress from each location. So we've got to get it. Otherwise, we, otherwise we just wasted the entire round. Okay. So that's one of them. I think I do at this time want to play Frodo's Intuition. Frodo's Intuition lets me draw a card or increases the willpower of all of my heroes. And I draw a card for each hobbit, so I'm going to draw four. So everybody gets plus one willpower for this turn. One, 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 and one. This is all heroes, correct? Each hero you control. All right, and then I'm going to draw four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here, I'm going to check something because uh, no, I'm just going to let it go. I'm let it go. The fact that I've drawn almost 20 cards and haven't seen a single song is disconcerting. <laughs> to be honest, it's damn ridiculous. Okay, so anyways, I need to win by five. 
I've got to spend some resources here if I can. I will spend one of Sam's resources as I can to play friend of friends. It doesn't do anything until I find another one. But we're hoping to find another one. I'm going to spend four of Mary's resources. Two, three, four. And put the Northern Track Star out. I'm hoping that having a bunch of allies isn't going to totally screw me over, but you never know. I think that's going to be good for this turn. Okay. So we got to commit to the quest. This doesn't do anything. End of the round. All right, so here we go. Uh, four, seven, ten. Eleven. Not that it matters. Eleven. All right, so eleven. We already know that it's going to be a location coming off the deck. Three, two, one. Pow. The deep gully. So it adds two. So we're looking at five total. Five against eleven. Obviously, we win by six. Six is enough to get rid of this. So we will put him in the victory display. I will lower my threat by three. One, two, three. For that. And. I will travel to the deep gully again because that one's awful if there's enemies up there. Okay, so there we go. So threat of three in the staging area. Three. Three. There's no enemies, thank God. I can probably deal with it if I have to. But I'd rather not. All right, so that's going to be the end of that. So we're ready to refresh. Oh, the Northern Tracker would put a, a, a progress here. But this card tells me I'm going to wipe them all out, so I'm not going to bother. So we're going to ready to refresh. We're going to G RNG to a new 2A. We're going to take number one again. The top card. Those. Going to shuffle those. That way. I'm making sure that I get a different, as random as it gets. I guess I could just shuffle them randomly and draw with the top card. It's all the same. All right, here we go. Um, at the end of the planning phase, each player must exhaust a hero control, so I've got to do that again. That sucks. Okay. Don't have a way to look at the encounter deck this time. All right, and we are going to ready for the next round. Boom. Okay, we will exhaust to Gondor. One, two. He is resourceful. He gets an extra one. All right, so this time I've got a bunch of ways to stop enemies from attacking me, which is nice. Okay. We're going to throw our Master of the Forge out. We'll pay two for him. Two. I will exhaust him right away, and I can look at the top five, I believe. Ghost Master Forge will search the top five cards of your deck for any one attachment and add it to my hand. All right. Look at top five. Oh, friend of friends. Friend of friends. Friend of friends is going to be it. Shuffle. Add friend of friends to my hand, and that will get played immediately. We'll put friend of friends. Oh, these go away because Frodo's intuition is now done. Rid of them. I will spend one from Sam to play friend of friends on Mary. 
Now Mary and Sam are beefy. There we go. Okay, that's amazing for me. Okay, so we need one more. We need one more in the victory display, right? Two, four, yeah, one more. I don't know what's coming. There's nothing I can do about that. I do have a test of will, so that'll help. Don't think I'm going to play anything else for my hand. Okay, so we're going to commit to the quest. Three a threat. I need to win by four. No reason not to quest for four here. Four, five, six, seven. Hey, Diggs, what's going on this morning? All right, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Ten. I have to win by four. No, I don't want to do those. I'll, I'll do Frodo. Screw him. All right, so 12. All right, so we're going to have 12. We're going to quest for 12, which is probably over. Oh, shit. Nope. Frodo's going to be exhausted. I'm going to exhaust him, so I'm going to quest for 10. Uh, over here, 2B says I have to exhaust a hero at the, end, at, uh, at the end of the planning phase. I forgot to do that. So Frodo will be that guy. So 10. We're going to quest for 10. It is what it is. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here it comes. Not too bad, please. There's a grasping root. After grasping root engages a player, that player must assign X damage among characters' controls, or X is the number of locations in the victory display. Holy shit, that thing sucks. All right, but it is uh, an enemy that I don't need to worry too much about. Uh, he has a threat three, so three, four, five. I win by four. Okay, so threat is six. My questing is four. So we successfully get four. One, two, three, four, which is enough to get us out of the deep gully and the victory display. It says after placing progress as a result of questing successfully, if there are X or more total victory points on locations of victory display advance to stage 3A. I have six in there, so that is enough. So I get to advance to stage 3A. Holy shit. Okay. 3A. Here we go. Put that back there. 3A. He lifted his heavy eyes and saw, leaning over him, a, a huge willow tree, old and hoary. Enormous it looked. Its sprawling branches growing up like reaching arms with many long fingered hands. When revealed, add Old Man Willow and Withy -wid with Withy Whittle to the staging area. Reveal X encounter cards where X is the number of players in the game minus one. So none. Cool. So we just put these jackasses out here. This guy and this guy. And things just got really funky. Because that's a that's a tough thing. All right, and now we flip it to 3B. 3B says, I don't like this great big tree. I don't trust it. Hark at it singing about sleep now. Old Man Willow cannot leave the staging area, but is considered to be engaged with each player and attacks each player in turn in turn order during the combat phase. Deal and resolve a shadow card for its attacks. If the players defeat the stage, we win. All right, so I've got to find a way to get out of here. Okay, and what does this guy do? Uh, Withy Window. Oh, I get to put... Uh, uh, Northern Tracker did that for me. Uh, it's a mean player card effects. Players cannot win the game while Withy Window is in play. 
While with a window as active location, the first player reveals one additional encounter card during the quest phase. All right, well, I am at the travel phase now because we successfully traveled, so I can go to Withy Window right now, and I will try to get that thing out of there. Oh, man. Well, this guy is considered engaged with everybody, and he is a dick and a half. I can't kill him. He's indestructible. He's immune to player card effects. Uh, so I just got a guy that can just I gotta either defend it outright or just eat it every turn until I can get out of here. And I got a quest big. Okay, we can do this. All right, so it is uh, it is optional engagements, and then we're gonna engagement check, and I gotta deal with old man Willow because he is going to attack me. Cannot leave the staring area, but consider me engaged with each player. Attacks each player in turn order during the combat phase. So he is engaged with me. Okay, so the grasping root is not going to do shit. I'm probably just going to leave him there the rest of the day. I don't see why I would want to deal with him. I'll be healed. I don't think that matters. All right, so here we go. That's going to be the end of the round, so I'm not going to option engage anybody. So we are now looking at Old Man Willow coming in to saunter on over and give us some business. So he's going to get a shadow card. Hi there, Athelion Lookout. You're going to take it in the face. So he's going to hit for five. Five. So he's going to absolutely obliterate our, uh, our Athelion Lookout. Uh, dead. Okay. That sucks. I can, the good part is, is I can, I should have done that. That's okay. Next turn. Okay. So that's the end of the combat phase. I'm not, I'm not going to even attempt to fight him. There's no point. I'm not going to pull that guy. So we're looking at three, six, nine threat in the staging area. Don't like that. All right. That is the end of the combat phase. We are at the refresh and ready. Boom. Exhaust Steward to get two more resources here. And he is resourceful, so he gets an additional one. Okay, guys. Oh, there's a miracle worker that just showed up. That's gonna be big for us. She's gonna she's gonna join the join the party. Alright, so this is our turn here. I'm gonna spend two get our our girl Rosie out. Cause she's gonna really help us out a lot. I will exhaust the Master of the Forge to look at the top five cards. Five. Or an attachment. Song of Wisdom. Unexpected Courage. Song of Wisdom. Catch here gains the lower resource. At this point, I think I'm going to take Unexpected Courage. They don't have the other uh, shuffle. Since I don't have uh, any other songs out right now, it's not really going to do me a lot of good. And I'm going to put Unexpected Courage on attached to a hero. That sucks. I mean, it's good, but it's not quite what I needed. Um, I'm going to attach Unexpected Courage probably to Sam. Just in case I do need to defend or do something crazy, I can. Or do I just hold it? I think I may hold it. All right, so we're going to spend four spirit resources, leaving me with one to throw a northern tracker out. So I'm going to need those guys to be to help defend against Old Man Willow because he wants to. He wants to do me dirty. I have to win by five. I don't want to... Do we want to... 
Gandalf here so that I can. All right, so hold on. We're facing nine and nine threat. We're going to quest for four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm probably going to Hobbit sense Old Man Willow as I'm not looking to attack anybody anyway. So again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 15, I need five, I need to leave at least one guy standing, or do I gamble, I think we gamble. I think we gamble. So I'm going to send them all. I think I'm going to send everybody. All right, here we go. I'll hold Rosie because I can I can exhaust her as an action if I need her. All right, so we are done with the planning phase. We are going to move on to the quest phase. And I am going to commit four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14. So that's enough if we get nothing. I've got two in the hopper. I get, whoop, oh, hey, Northern Tracker exhausts to... When you commit to the quest, I place one progress on each in the staging area. That's going to get rid of that. One, two, two. That actually gets rid of that. So he gets moved to the victory display. That's a huge boon for me at the victory display. Because that lowers the threat in the staging area now. Staging area is three, six instead. So that's great for us. Okay. I think we're good. We don't know what's coming. Let's hope it's not some kind of absolute ass kicking. Three, two, one, go. This is an army of flies. We love that, and it surges. It says it's gonna, and it's a threat of twenty, so it's gonna, it's gonna engage us. Uh, next one, because it surges, we get, oh hell no, from that guy. All right, so still not gonna do that. All right, so we got the, we got the swarm of flies. I'm going to uh, spend one resource from Mary here to tell the song of sleep to go F itself. So we will cancel the ruin revealed effect of song of sleep. Discard that. Goodbye. All right. So the, uh, we win by, there's a seven to 14. We win by seven. So that gets seven, which will make it go bye bye. So that's five. I'll actually exhaust Rosie too to win by nine. So that's five of them. So discard that to the victory display because it's got victory points. And I get four here. One, two, three, four. All right. Engagements. These guys are going to come because there's nothing I can do to stop that. I will fast hitch Mary so he stands. Ah. Here comes the bees, or the flies. After Army of Flies engages a player, that player discards a non-objective attachment I control. Non-objective attachment. Ugh. Oh, I'll, dis I'll discard old bogey stories. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I will fast hitch Sam so he stands up too. Uh, what do I need to kill this guy? Two? I need to do two. 
So I can defend it with Sam because he's got a two. They're both the same. Sam and Mary are the same in that respect. I will do... I'll defend it with Sam just in case something wild happens. I have a card. Playing player discards a non-objective attachment I control. Shit. I don't want to do that. Guess I'll discard resourceful for now. I don't like doing that. That's probably a terrible choice, but that's uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, so we bounce that. Does nothing. And then I will attack here with Mary for two, and that will kill those sons of bitches. Discard that. All right. That's the end of the round. There are no locations to travel to. We are ready to refresh. And we are ready for the next round. Again, Steward. Mary doesn't get an extra resource this time. Hey, there's our boy. There's a dude right there. We like him a lot. Okay. So we're looking at six in the staging area. I need to win by 14 to win. I don't think I can do that this turn. Maybe. Maybe. Master of the Forge. We'll look at the top five cards. Looking for an attachment. There's a resource moving. Saga Travel, I think, is going to be the winner. Yep. Take a Saga Travel. Shuffle. Shuffle again. Okay. So, I'll use one of Mary's. Place Saga Travel on him. That gives him Spirit, which kind of offsets losing Resourceful. I think I am going to. I am going to play Treebeard. It was an exhausted. A four here. Two, three, four. Um, I'll hold on to it just in case. I think I'm going to. I think I am going to. I think I'm going to sneak attack Gandalf in. Do. Help me quest, I think. And I'll just have him zerg the grasping root with uh, for four damage. And then if, when I play him for real, he'll come in and kill him. Okay, so here we go. That's the end of the planning phase. I'm not going to do any more. Nothing up here. Nothing out. Nothing out of the ordinary. To force me to do anything so all right so we commit to the quest here four six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i'm going to spend my one resource here to sneak attack in gandalf And Zerg that guy for four. And then he'll commit to the quest for four more. So I'm going to redo my math again. Sorry about that. Four, five, six, 
7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 17. Facing 6 to come. I've got a couple of guys standing still. Um, Thillian, look out. Rosie. I'm probably going to Hobbit Sense Old Man Willow so he doesn't do anything to me. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Counter decks. Turd that is going to drop on me is this one. It's a Wall of Trees. We like Wall of Trees. That's easy. All right, so an extra one, so we won by a crap load. We won by 10. Fourteen. Didn't quite get there. Gandalf comes back to my hand. I don't think. Oh shit, I just okay, hold on. Well, wall of trees is in the staging area. Progress must be placed on wall of trees before it can be placed on the current quest. So I actually only gained four or gained six, so I'm at ten. That will make wall of trees go away. Go bye bye though. It is a victory. Yeah, to the victory display. All right, combat. So he gets a shadow card. I am going to spend two resources. I will spend two from Frodo. I'll spend one from Frodo and one from Mary. And I will play Hobbit Sense. And I will tell those guys, I tell Old Man Willow, you're not attacking me this turn. So his shadow card goes bye-bye. It was nothing anyway. Discard you. Nothing to fight back. That's the end of the turn. We are ready to refresh. And we are ready for the next round. Boom. We will get two more resources on Pip. Got a resourceful. That doesn't do a whole lot of good now. Oh, I should have I messed up and forgot to use Mary or a Rosie to get two more. I need to slow down. Oh, okay. So, I think we can win this turn. I think we can win it right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna push the chips in here. I'm gonna get Gandalf on board. One, two, two, three, four, five. So Gandalf's gonna show up. Gonna have him you his ability come in and deal four damage to this guy, which will kill him. So grass barrier dies, lowering the threat in the staging area to three. I forgot to do that twice, so I'll need to change. I need to go back. I need to rewind and do that because I forgot to do that. Look at all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I got an RNG six. I forgot to, to do the old man Willows other part here, so I'm going to do that real quick. He's attacked me twice. So I'm going to get rid of discard number two. And I have to raise my threat by that number, which is three. And then there's now five. Number five. So I have to raise my threat by three or five. I have to raise my threat by five. Make sure I read that right. No man may low attacks. Discard a random location from the victory display. The defending player raises his threat by X, where X is that location's victory point value. All right, so they get discarded too, which is kind of crappy because it introduces them back to the back into the game. And I raise my threat by five, so I need to raise my threat to twenty nine. Okay, so we got that. We did that right. So we're trying to make sure that I do it right. Okay, so. I think we're we're pretty much going to push our chips in to try to win this game right now. All right, so committing to the quest, committing three or four, five, six, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17. Okay, master the actually before I do that, I'll master the forge because I forgot to do that part. Go to top five. I want to try to make sure I don't forget to do that. Top five. Looking for an attachment that's worthwhile. Grab unexpected courage. I don't think I'm gonna need it. A full. All right, so seventeen. Rosing, give me eighteen, nineteen. 20. 20 against 3. I got it. I got to get it right. It's got it. I got to get it. 3, 2, 1. The location. Strange Woods. Characters can't be healed. That makes a total of 6 in the staging area. We won by 14. I need 18 total to win the game. This only I will. Can I leave the stage area? Because we're getting engaged. All right, we won the game. Boom. We have uh, defeated the Wicked Willow without actually attacking him. All right, so that is uh, that is the end of that. Boom. Let's read the. Uh... Tom Bombadil bursts out laughing. Well, my little fellows, said he, stooping. Stooping so that he could, he could peered into their faces. You shall come home with me. The table is all laden with yellow cream, honeycomb, and white bread and butter. Goldberry is waiting. Time enough for questions around the, around the supper table. You follow after me as quick as you're able. With that, he picked up it, he picked up his lilies, and then with a beckoning wave of his hand, he went hopping and dancing along the path eastward, still singing loudly and nonsensically. The resolution, if there were at least 12 damage on, <laughs> if there are, are at least 12 damage tokens on Old Man Willow, the players have earned Old Bogey Stories boon card. I did not. I chose not to fight him at all, so I don't get to keep Old Bogey Stories. But I did successfully complete the, complete the quest, so we are, uh, we're going to move on to, I believe it is, the Barrow Downs. That will be the next quest that I run next week. Um, I think that's going to wrap my stream for today on uh, Lord of the Rings LCG. I am going to be on tomorrow with, uh, playing a new game of, uh, Marvel champions on Octagon here. Check that out at 10 AM Eastern or 10 AM Eastern. Um, also check out my VOD for this and other uh, games that I've been streaming on my YouTube account at Broncos gaming world. Uh, Check out my Twitter account, Broncos Gaming World, as well, and the same on Facebook, Broncos Gaming World. I uh, I appreciate everybody's coming and checked out the the uh, stream today. Uh, Diggs, I appreciate you hanging in there for a little while. It's good to uh, good to see you jump into the chat. And uh, thanks so much. I I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning, Marvel Champions tomorrow morning. Awesome. Take care. Have a good day.